Hi there, it's Celebrant Lindy. I do ceremonies and I am making this wee video. I can't say who it's for because um, it's for somebody who's organising a surprise vow renewal ceremony for their partner. So I don't want to give it away. But I can say they live in the US of A. And um, there's going to be a wee bit of an Outlander theme to it. And so we are thinking about different locations that we can do that. And so today, I'm here in Dune and I'm just going to go down and I hope you can see that behind me because there behind me is Dune Castle and that's one of the locations for the Outlander series and um, this is the River Teeth in case you're wondering T-E-I-T-H the River Teeth and uh, so we're going to go down and have a look at the castle I had some scaffolding on it the last time I was here but Oh no, it's still there, it's still there. So let's go down and make sure that that is going to be a beautiful location. Okay, come on. So here I am down at Dune Castle. You can see it in the background there, of course you can. It's a huge castle. In Outlander, that was Castle Leoch. But um, it's not just been the setting for Outlander, the Monty Python film, Holy Grail, was set here. And this was Winterfell in Game of Thrones. Do, do, do. But um, yes, so this castle built in the 13th century originally, and then they think it was damaged in the the Scottish War of Indepe Scottish Wars of Independence, and then it was rebuilt by the Stuarts. So what and I've done is just I've just walked up from the calf park there, and um, I walked up to the main door. Once you go through the main door, you then have to purchase a ticket to go into the castle. So I didn't want to do that today. I just wanted to look around the outside of the castle and just show you these parts here and then we'll go for a walk round the back here it's it's such a beautiful setting you can see over the, the countryside people like look out for the red kites because this this area um is well known for the red kite sanctuary so we might see some red kites so oh, wow so I mean any of these spots would make a beautiful spot for a, a hand fast and vow renewal. So I'm round the back of the castle and um, as you can see that's a scaffold and I was talk, uh, talking about so if that's not down by the time you come over you wouldn't want to be there but there are some nice spots. If we, I'll, I'll show you where we are so if you, look down, you can probably see it but the river's down here so there's the the River Teeth running by, Castle just sits up on a hill above the river. Um, so we'll walk back round and there are a, a couple of nice spots that would be good for a hand fastening outside. As I said the other day, if we want to do it inside we would have to get permission from Historic Scotland and there would probably be a fee. Well, there would be a fee for that, there's usually a fee for that, and it's usually quite, quite expensive. But, um, you know, outside the castle itself, of course, it's all dependent on the, the very temperamental Scottish weather. But, um, if we could get some nice weather, it could be nice to do it out here. So to the left there it drops away to to where you come in and where the car park is and then here we've got the castle itself. There's a wee bit of some building work going on here. So we'd want that to be away. But um let's go and see what it says about the works that are getting done the castle walls and see if there's a time scale on that. So they are they are repairing the castle walls um, and it doesn't tell us how long that's going to take so I'll try and find out from historic Scotland you can see the castle they are sitting. On the, on the river. 